Who are you? You can call me Andy. I lead a group of soldiers. Fighters like you. With an extremely rare skill set. What do you mean? Mother? Let's just say we're very hard to kill. You've played all different kinds of characters. You were murdered in Doctor Strange, Solomon in 12 Years a Slave, Scar in Lion King, and now Kupli in The Old Guard. How is it for you to play so many different roles and what's next? Have you got any special projects? <laughs> Uh, well, it's always great to play different roles, and that's one of the things that I love about about being an actor, and one of the great privileges and joys of being an actor is that you get to explore all of these different worlds um, and different places of your own psyche, um, which is uh, interesting. Uh, so this, uh, you know, this allowed me to explore something slightly different, and I and I really love playing this character because he is quite complicated and uh, and what he's trying to achieve is quite complex um, and it's set within this story which I thought was very exciting and has all of these great characters but also um, talks to something that is all part of our kind of collective mythology of immortality and what that would feel like what it would seem like and what it, whether it's desirable or not. Harry, you were Dudley Dursley in Harry Potter and I'm a great fan but your character was, was one of the most hated in the whole franchise. <laughs> now in the Old Guard, you play the villain. I mean, how's that for you? Yeah. Uh, no, it's always, it's always fun. It's always fun to play, uh, you know, eccentric characters. Um, and certainly with bad guys, it, it's, it's nice to try and find the nuance within them. You know, it's, it's, it's not always so good if you just come to these characters and think, oh, they're the bad guy this means I need to play it with a sort of moustache and you know start twiddling every five seconds it's it's always good to find the sort of you know the color who these people really are and certainly with uh, Merrick um, I could do that you know he starts off with a very noble noble quest which is to cure the world of disease and then it goes it goes awry but it's all about finding the the nuance and detail with characters. Uh, all your characters act like they're a family and have some kind of supernatural connection. How did you guys create this bond between you? First of all, Matthias uh, was kind enough to uh, make the juices in his trailer. Uh, he would uh, he would care for your health and uh, make sure that you have the right amount of energy and vitamins. I guess that that is a good start. And Luca has a very cute dog that he would bring with him uh, every now and then. I think I would be convicted by the dog. Yeah, the dog was an important part of the whole thing. They're going to lock us up and weaponize us. But they've never faced an army like ours. An army of five. Shit, let's start a band. As the old guard tells the story of a group of Im immortal people, I want to know, um, would you guys like to be immortal and why? You know, if they were asking, you want to do it, you want to do it, you want to do it, okay, you know what, no, <laughs> let, let me let it go, no, it's all right, you know, do him. Yeah, for, I mean, for 250 years, so you could just live to the fullest relentlessly and, and care carelessly, so you can take, you, you can be crazy. And then, at, at, uh, yeah, I'd love that. That would be nice, but not forever. No. Maybe before the film, I would, um, well, I, I think maybe being immortal might be quite, quite good, you know, staying alive, seeing lots of things, seeing how the world evolves. But after watching this film, it, it explores uh, immortality in such a way where you think actually the cost of being um, mm -hmm. immortal, it, it costs a lot. And these characters all um, are weighed down by what they've seen, and what they've been through and the people that have gone from their lives. So I'm not so sure anymore, to be honest. I, I mean, it's it's very it's very tough. As you can see in the movie, it's very tough to be immortal because you have to, to deal with a lot of with a lot of things. So as Matthias said, I, I mean, 240 years, maybe. But yeah, not immortal, no. I think one of the great things, you know, about the film is that it does explore that question, you know, that it's that, that question being really whether what, is, what makes life special? And, and life is made special and rendered special by the fact that it is, that it is finite, that you only have a limited amount of time to, to do the things 
that you want to do and to achieve the things you want to do and see the things you want to do, to love the people you want to love and all of the things that you want to communicate and express through your life. I mean, it's not, hopefully not short, but it's finite. And so you do have to kind of focus. Um, and I think that is what is um, wonderful as well as tragic about, about, about being alive. If we can unlock their genetic code, the entire world will be begging us for the key. You shouldn't have done that. I strongly recommend that we leave right now. Let's move! Wait for the signal. How the hell can you even tell? Oh.